Hey guys, it's 61 Shadow. Welcome to a bit of a different video. We um we are actually doing something Pokemon related for the first time in months actually. Uh just because it's I know I have retired from doing draft leagues itself, but there is this fun tournament that I like to do. Uh they do they do these tournaments two times a year. Uh, my buddies at the uh, Token Minorities. So they're doing a bit of a different tournament this year, and it's actually upload required for the All Star version. And I am actually uh, one of the All Stars, on an honorary All Star for this. So we will be uploading this. Um, to the channel, we it'll be a weekly thing on Sundays, where I'm going to be uploading my uh, I'm going to be uploading my stuff. So, is it, is it, I think it's Sundays. Let me actually double check on that real quick. Yeah, it's Sundays. Okay, so just to sort of go over the format for, with you guys really quickly, because um, it's a bit of a different format. Basically, um, for the draft, instead of drafting um, instead of drafting the usual uh, eight mons with a certain number of points, you uh, you have to. Re it's for this draft you really just have to uh you're sort of limited in the sense that as you see here it says round one your base budget is uh, actually i don't think you guys see my mouse cursor but the base budget at round one is 50 points so that means we have to draft eight mons with 50 with only 50 points and we can only get mo pokemon that have um that are priced at 10 points or below so we can't draft anything super powerful like you know mew and everything like that i don't know i don't know why mew was the first thing that came to my head but like yeah mew mew tapu coco all those like really uh high threats and also no megas we begin to get megas, I believe, during round three. If we, that's if we make it that far. So round for our round one battles, it is not um, is for for round one battles. Uh, if you lose, you're not out of the tournament. It just depends on which bracket you're getting placed in, the gold bracket or the silver bracket. The gold bracket has a better first place prize, and there's only a first place prize. So if you get second place, you don't get a prize. So so sort of gotta uh, be the best to get the prize there. But um, yeah, so. You can see up here, you can see over here, is it uh, on screen? Okay, yeah, it, it's just on screen, awesome. The uh, tournament schedule over here. So, um, you guys can see the upload dates there, like the draft now uh, upload window. I'm uploading it on the first day of September 2nd. And then each Sunday, we'll be uploading our uh, our games until we're eliminated or until we somehow win the tournament, which we'll see what happens, we'll see what happens. I'm not going to say I'm not going to win, I'm not going to say I am. We'll just see what happens. There's a bunch of uh, really cool people and uh, really uh, strong people and strong mo battlers in this tournament. but. We're going to be going over our draft today. We did uh, draft our team. I'm going to move this to my other monitor so we can just start up. That was not a mod that I wanted to click on. Good job. All right, but we are here now. So let me just pull up my draft on this on my other monitor. So to start off, first off, and we might also actually have team builders for this. I'm not 100% sure if they're required. I know there's like graphics for them. But if we do that, that'll be probably on Saturdays. Um, just do like, you know, Saturday, Sunday for these. But for our um for our draft, the first mon that we picked up was Galvantula. And Galvantula is definitely a very solid mon. I wanted to start off with it first because it's a relatively fast electric type. And also gives me access to uh, sticky webs, which is a very great move. Um especially in this round, considering that um there's a bunch of mons that are uh there's a bunch of there's a bunch like the fastest mons aren't down in these uh in these point values, so if you can get sticky webs up and if they don't have good hazard removal, then it'll be it'll be really good to uh, so that a good amount of my mons could be faster than mons on other teams. So that's very good. But then otherwise, very strong special attacker. You know, with compound eyes, we can uh, I can pretty safely run thunder because thunder's accuracy gets boosted to like I think ninety per something percent from like se from up from like seventy, which is pretty good. Yeah, hold on. Thunder is let's see where's thunder. Oh, I'm just saying it's thunder, right? Unless I'm just being stupid. Okay, yeah, I get thunder. Yeah, seventy percent seventy percent accuracy gets boosted. To like 90 something percent, which is all honestly really awesome. So that's really it for Galvantula. Nothing, uh, nothing too spe too special on that. But then the next mon on our uh, list here is going to be Bruxish, which is our Z mon for this uh, for this draft because Bruxish is a very powerful physical attacking water type. I I personally have not used this mon in uh in the format, but I know it definitely is very strong with uh with his abilities like that like uh, if you use dazzling. Uh, when the Pokemon is active, allies are protected from opposing priority moves. So if you so if you have so if you're sort of scared of priority one week, you can run that. Strong Jaw gives uh, bite based attacks 1.5 times power, which is honestly really awesome. And a Wonder Skin, which is not which is probably um, that's that's probably not going to be something that I'm going to run very much. But Strong Jaw makes this thing very strong because a lot of its attacks, a lot of its like key attacks that you can see are uh, are sort of uh, are bite based. So you know you have like Ice Fang and you have Crunch. And you have a bunch of other stuff, which is honestly really cool. So this mon is definitely very strong, and if you and pop like pop like a watery MZ on that thing, and it, it'll just be doing a bunch of damage as well. 
So Bruxish is very powerful. I'm, I'm honestly really excited for it. Then next up, our next mon here is the uh, Chestnut, which is another mon I haven't really used. So, I mean, there's a bunch of stuff that I haven't really used, so whenever I do these types of things, I, like, I sort of like to try to experiment and see, uh, see what things are, but I won't be running Overgrow. Bulletproof is his, uh, yeah, Bulletproof is his, uh, is his main thing, and it makes the user immune to ballistic moves, so things like uh, Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, Focus Blast, so basically anything that's a ballistic uh, it's, it is immune to. I actually didn't know like fully what Bulletproof was, because I, I never really used mods with this ability, but... Definitely very solid ability because th those moves are right like Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, Focus Bomb. Those are some very common moves that you'll see a lot. So having Bulletproof is a very good thing to. Uh, it's a very good thing to have because you can you're basically you're immune to all of those really common moves. And it's a very he's a very good uh, physical attacker, but he can also be sort of defensive. Maybe run like a um, substitute set with something, but he can hit very hard with like a wood hammer. So Chestnut is very good uh, physically for sure. Then the fourth mon on our roster. Now here, I in the draft, I was making a decision whether I wanted to finish off my Firewater Grass core by picking up a fire type, or did I try to see? I tried to look up at the mons that were available, try to see something else, and I kind of decided on my fire type already. So, and because it was less of a lesser point value, I decided to wait on it. So I actually ended up picking a Cryogonal up, which is uh, yet another very fast mon, which is going to help out for. Uh, for Sticky, was going to help out uh, my team. And Cryo is definitely a very solid ice type. Has pretty decent uh, special attack, but awesome special defense, base 135 there. So he can be definitely, this is definitely be a, a more tanky mon. I believe he gets Rapid Spin. Yeah, he gets Rapid Spin. So we do have a Hazard Removal, which is definitely going to be very important because a lot of people I saw picked up fast uh, South Rock users. So it's definitely going to be very good to have uh, Cryogonal being able to get rid of those uh, hazards. But otherwise, it has some pretty. Uh, Pretty standard stuff for an ice type, like you know, ice beam. It gets freeze dry, which uh, is super effective against water, and overall, just pretty, uh, just pretty basic in that regard. So next up, I decided to uh, actually take my fire type this time, and picking three mons that start with C in a row, I actually pick up regular Charizard. Regular Charizard is a threat, another fast mon. I definitely picked up a pretty fast team um, for this draft, which I am excited for. I do have a pretty uh, fast core, so Charizard. While not as strong as the Mega Forms, which can't be drafted right now anyway, because both of them are priced fairly high, the uh, Charizard he uh, he'll mainly be a special attacker because his uh, his attack isn't that high. But I feel like you could you could run a physical uh, Charizard. But this thing could definitely uh, put in a lot of work. Uh, flamethrower, and uh, you know you can run flamethrower. Uh, you can run maybe like air slash on this thing, but. Charizard can be strong, maybe give it like a choice specs because of how fast it is, and this thing will be doing a lot of damage, without a doubt. And next up, our uh, sixth mon. For number six, we decided to pick up a more defensive uh, defensive option, or well, especially defensive. So we get Licky Licky. And why am I picking a more why I'm picking a more especially defensive mon now? Well, I mean this thing could be either or, but I know fighting type moves would do uh, would do a number to this thing defensively. So I feel like a spe I mean, could, since it can be run either way, it is helpful considering that, especially if we run it especially defensively, that gives Cryogonal more of a chance to be uh, offensive, which can be very good in certain matchups. So I, th I think uh, Licky Licky will be good. And also, and Licky Licky also does give us a Wish Passer, which is very awesome. Uh, definitely will help me to keep my uh, keep my team healthy. Let's see, for abilities, uh, prob Own Tempo could be good. Cloud9 if I'm facing a weather team. And then... Oblivious can also be because uh, taunt is. I feel like taunt will be uh, somewhat common in uh, in something. So that, that that's definitely pretty cool. But this mod is definitely uh, it's kind of vers it's kind of versatile. But it will more than likely be a uh, a defensive variant for me, or defensive or especially defensive. One of the two. It will be bulky in some way. For number seven, I decided to go because Licky Licky. I was looking at it mainly for uh for its uh, special defense. I decided to get something physically defensive. And with only seven points left, I wanted to try to get eight mons, so I did decide to pick up Quagsire for uh, four points. And Quagsire definitely a very, uh, definitely a pretty good uh, lower tiered mon for de for defense. We have Unaware on it, which uh, which if so if my opponent's setting up uh, like if they have uh, two Swords Dances up with their attack at plus four, uh, Quagsire will take the hit as if they hadn't set up any Swords Dances at all and they're at neutral attack, which is pretty awesome. And then there's some things, like some also niche things, like, you know, I could run Damp if I want something niche or Water Absorb for, like, niche things, but 
overall, this this would mainly just be a uh, a tanky mod with you know Scald, Earth Power, kind of doing some damage. But uh, this is uh, this is gonna be um, our other uh, possibility for a phys for a physically defensive uh, Pokemon, which is definitely gonna be pretty cool. And then lastly, but certainly not least, we had three we had three points left, and I was like, okay, with this, I want a Ghost type, so I'm gonna pick up the Haunter. Now Haunter definitely a very interesting mod. He has great great special attack and is fairly fast too, getting up to uh, what does he get up to? He get he gets up to 317 speed if he is uh, if he is max speed, which is definitely awesome. Then we have uh, so he can and. I think Haunter does get a good amount of moves here. Definitely gets like Shadow Ball. He gets um, what's he Haunter? Actually, uh, no, not type category special. Yeah, he gets a bunch of stuff. He gets Clear Smog for if mods are setting up. He is fast too, so that could also be very helpful. Dark Pulse. He get, I know he gets Shadow Ball. We saw it already. Energy Ball and Giga Drain. Uh, Dazzling Gleam as a fairy move. So this thing gets a bunch of a uh, bunch of good coverage on here for sure. Icy Wind as well. I actually didn't know it got that. Very interesting. So yeah, this this gets a bunch of moves, and Haunter will be definitely be a very interesting mod to do. So, as you can see, we have a very uh, very fast team. It's gonna be very interesting to see how this team is going to work out for us. But with that, that is gonna be the end of the draft analysis. Thank you all for watching, guys. I'm sorry if it seems like I was uh, sort of uh, talking a little fast. I just want to get this done in sort of one burst, and because uh, I am recording this the night before, so this will be out on the second of September, and then we'll have. Uh, Weekly battles on Sundays, and if team builders are required, I'll uh, make I'll make sure of that. Um, I'll make sure of that uh, as soon as possible. But if they're required, you'll see an upload on Saturday for our team builder. But um, if not, then you'll just have the battles on Sundays. But anyways, with that, thank you all for watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and share, guys. Let me know what you guys think of the team in the comment section below, and I will see you all next time.